thank you guys for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today I am at one of the most stunning and also most haunted castles in the whole of Transylvania, Romania, that is Corvin Castle. I'm going to take you for a look around, go over its ghost stories, and we might even get a chance to do some paranormal investigating a bit later on, so stay tuned. Alright, so the castle that I'm about to take you around, I'm going to refer to as Corvin Castle, but it also goes by other names such as Hunyadi Castle and Honaduara Castle. This place was built in the 15th century and is one of the largest, most intact, and I gotta say, the most stunning castle in the whole of Europe. It has some very dark history and cool ghost stories that I really can't wait to share with you, so let's go check it out. So you can actually see on the walls leftovers from old painting. So I'm currently standing in the Diet Hall here at Corvin Castle, which is one of the most stunning and largest rooms. And it looks particularly spooky how it's all lit up with this green light. Currently inside the Capistrano Tower here at Corvin Castle, which has its own very creepy little story to go with it. So legend states that a monk who was spying on noblemen below in the council room was caught. His punishment was to be walled up inside a recess inside this room to die. And it is thought that his ghost haunts this tower to this very day. In this next clip, I pick up a voice I don't recall anyone else in the room with Jared and I at the time, though it is plausible it was another tourist. I've included this as it sounds creepy and I'd love your thoughts on it. Gross and spooky. <laughs> to do my very best to conduct a spirit box session. I do not speak Romanian. I am going to use Google Translate uh, to try and reach out and communicate in that language. Salut in Amy. Right, so I'm not sure if I picked up anything relevant in that session. Hopefully I can try and translate it um, when I review and edit this video. But if you do speak Romanian or you're able to pick out any words from that, I would love to know what they were in the comments. Cheers. Can you see anything? Mm, it's pretty dark. Yeah, it's just a drop. Mm -hmm. Just a hole. Where's the roof? Look. <laughs> 
there's a lot of coins down there. And over here. So maybe that's significant. Feet down there. Oh, it's just a drop. This might be a really cool photo. So we're at the top of a tower, which is really cool because we're just looking out at other uh, parts of the castle. You can see a kid's head in that window. <laughs> down the hallway um, to check out another tower and this is just really cool it has a bunch of lovely historical photos of the castle old ones new ones nighttime ones and what's even really magical is when it's covered in snow this castle is so cool this is whoa Now, if you think walk around this castle looks like something out of a movie, it was actually used in a lot of the filming for the new movie, The Nun. Um, I actually did a, did a video on that one. I'll link below for you guys if you're interested in that. So this is really legit. <laughs> no wonder they've got... Whoa, that's a big drop. Look, I don't even know what this says, but I can understand the picture. <laughs> It's pretty far down. It actually looks really cool though, over here, with a stream. Whoa. So I actually think through here is where we were looking earlier and there was a lot of those coins on the floor. And there was bits of it that were gated off, almost like dungeness uh, kind of looking, so. I assume if you have a dungeon, you'd put it down here somewhere. Alright guys, check this out. This looks like I'm actually in the Nun movie. There's a door that goes to nowhere up there. Yeah, this must have had more levels at one point in its life. Again, this room's impressive. So I'm standing um, in front of ruins of a woman that was excavated in the area. And what's cool about uh, this find here were there was these rings uncovered with the remains. And these were actually sort of jewelry items back in the day where they were displayed in hair. So this is the hunting lodge. It's probably my least favorite room just because it's full of dead animals. But I mean, the birds really give me anxiety, especially these big ones up here. So now that I'm done walking around the interior of the castle, I've come outside to look for a very infamous well. Now what makes this well so well known is the creepy legend that surrounds it. So it is said sometime in the 1400s, three Turkish prisoners that were kept here at Corvin Castle were allowed freedom if they were able to dig a well that reached water. Now this was a seemingly impossible task. These men, dug for a total of 15 years. They dug down through stone 28 meters deep and they actually reached water. Sadly though, their promise wasn't kept. Instead of being released, they were actually murdered, but not before inscribing a message to their murderers in stone. They wrote, 
You may have water, but you have no soul. Now, ever since then, their spirits are fought to haunt the area around the well. So let's go have a look around, see if we can locate the well and that stone inscription and see if it actually exists. All right, guys, I have just found the well. Going over for a look. Very excited about this. Yeah, it's deep. So another cool thing about the well is supposedly people throw money in there um, for good luck. So you can see some of the coins that are stuck around the edge here as well. Whoa, it's pretty far down. It's so deep. When I look down and see my reflection, I look tiny. Can you see that on the camera? <laughs> mm, I can't tell. <laughs> God, it's so deep. Let's look uh, for that stone inscription, see if we can find that. So we've just found it up here, where the red arrow is. You may have water, but you have no soul. standing in one of the scariest spots of Corvin Castle. I'm actually right above a bear pit. So this area was used to keep bears and other wild animals and prisoners that were kept here at the castle were often thrown down the drop to be savaged by the animal and killed. So we have just wandered into a torture chamber. Um, so over here, we have someone who looks like they're in a lot of pain sitting upon a spiked chair. We have a rack over here. This actually looks like a pretty sophisticated rack. Mm, there's a passage down here. So let's go explore some more. or something is being built across the road I'm not sure what that building is but I could just picture having this place as the view from the front of my house so what's really awesome is as you arrive at Corvin Castle you walk across this wooden sort of drawbridge over a flowing stream and there's even some ruins down below which I'm not sure exactly what they were but it's just cool that they're still there, they're surviving. Alright guys, we are inside the Knight's Hall and this is the place that I am most interested in, in all of Corvin Castle. The reason being is that Vlad Sepesh or better known as Vlad the Impaler or the real life Dracula was actually kept prisoner here at Corvin Castle for several years. He was placed in a dungeon cell right underneath the floor of this hall. Now it is said that he actually went mad during his time here. To survive he had to eat and drink the blood of rats and that is when many people believe he developed his thirst for blood and became the real life Dracula. So there is a trap door over here that I can't access 
and I don't know for sure if that's where he was kept, but it was in a cell below this floor. Alright guys, I am back in the Knights Hall where Vlad Sepesh was kept prisoner right underneath the floor for many years. I'm going to try and reach out and do a spirit box here. Again, I don't speak Romanian, just trying to do my best. Salut in Amy. A false prisoner. S. A. Chess Vlad Sepesh. Es a just flat sepesh. Deche ese a each. Come more. It's in a bitch. So we definitely got some words come through them. I'm not sure what they said. Um, I'm going to do my best to translate them. But again, if you speak Romanian or you're able to pick anything out, please let me know in the comments. so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please remember to hit like leave me a comment about your thoughts on Corvin Castle and hit subscribe that way I can take you to the rest of my haunted locations that I'm visiting in Romania right up until Halloween if you're looking for a little bit more reading on Corvin Castle head to amyscrypt.com and remember until next time stay spooky